Welcome to my channel folks. If you have been following the project that I have been recently doing, which is to migrate 300 terabytes of data from the corporate data center to the cloud, we looked at the problem and we looked at the different tools that Amazon offers and we were wondering which tool is the best tool to do this kind of a job. So let us go over some of the tools and knock off the easier ones which might not help us. For example, the client very clearly said that they didn't want to use any other third party and they wanted to just work with us because they, they were in a domain which is highly regulated and they didn't want to more subcontracting in their data center. So completely the independent uh, software vendors were out of the picture. So we cannot go with that option. Then the next thing that we ruled out was Kinesis Firos because the data that we had was not streamable or it was not generated by devices which can be fed into a Kinesis fire hose. So that option was also ruled out. And the next option that we looked at is S3 transfer acceleration. And this also requires some kind of a technical assistance from each location so that the end users can upload the data from S3 transfer acceleration. And also that the bandwidth that is required uh, to deliver S3 transfer acceleration to move all the terabytes of data to the cloud was also not sufficient in the time frame given by the client. Uh, so combination of uh, skills that is required and the combination of the bandwidth that is required to do this knocked off S3 transfer acceler uh, acceleration also out of the solution. The final thing that I looked at was the VPN connection. But once again here the bandwidth will be a constraint here because the amount of bandwidth that you require for moving 300 terabytes of data over your VPN connection is a huge and we will be spending weeks just to move the data and then there will be time spent on validating the data. So the VPN connection was also ruled out from the other options. So we are left with three options snowball direct connect and storage gateway. Let us go over each of them in detail to see which one suits our requirement. The first one that we would like to discuss about is snowball snowball requires some advanced planning to get the job rolling you need at least five to ten days so that you can go ahead and request for snowball with amazon and they ship it to you you copy the data and send it back to them but that remember in this case the data is sitting in multiple places so that means that you need to send the snowball device to multiple office locations and the users at the other end should be capable enough to collect all the data connect the snowball device and then push the data there and ship it back. So that requires some technical assistance, which in this case we definitely did not have. So we couldn't use snowball, although it might be seems to be the most easiest options to do because the amount of data that you can push in a snowball is close to petabyte scale. And if you have more also, there is something called a snowmobile, which can be really helpful. But in this case, because the technical assistance was required on each of the locations, we couldn't go with snowball. So that was removed from the options list. So the next thing that we looked at is AWS Direct Connect. Here also the Direct Connect landing points will be on your corporate data center networks. So in this case, let us say the three different 100 terabyte or some three different corners of the country, then you need to land a Direct Connect in each of those locations. And you also need some amount of a technical capability to set them up, to get them up and running. And if you want to move data from multiple locations, that means that you are going to spend a lot of one time cost for just getting the high bandwidth that Direct Connect offers you. So this is highly prohibitive. So in this case, we decided not to have multiple AWS Direct Connects for your data migration project. So we are left with only one option now that is storage gateway. So does this help to solve our problem? Let us see. Storage Gateway, as I said earlier, it is a really easy thing to set up. Just a VM, you download it from your Amazon console, set it up and allow the Storage Gateway VM to push the data to the corporate network, through the corporate network to AWS. But once again, if you remember, your uh, throughput is going to be dependent on your bandwidth to AWS. So unless you have something like Direct Connect, you are not going to achieve a high throughput. And as I said earlier, the client had a very strict time frame and they wanted to move all the data. Although storage gateway seems to be the easiest thing to do or the only option seems to do, but we have time constraint here. So we need to look at other options. So the solution that we, uh, I came up here was to use a combination of two services here. What we did was we used storage gateway and also direct connect. But instead of connecting all the geographical locations with direct connect, what we did was we used direct connect for only one location and pushed internally all the data using the corporate VPN to one location where the direct connect is there 
and then from the direct connect we pushed it to the internet so this way we solved the problem of not having technical help in all the remote locations by leveraging the corporate vpn that was already established by the company and also using direct connect for pushing the data from the corporate network to the internet so your throughput is optimized both internally as well as externally to achieve the time frame that was given to us so this is how you use the different building blocks in aws to come up with solutions that seems to be insurmountable in usual scenarios go ahead and put them in your comment section how you would have solved this problem in a better way let us all learn together thanks for watching happy learning